Yo, it's your boy AJ. I'm here with Rage. We're about to talk about Coach Vaughn. New staff. We're going to talk about some coaches that we think should be put on the Brooklyn Nets staff. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. You're now tuned in the Nets Kingdom. Nets Kingdom. Yeah, man. So, Coach Vaughn, we're going to see what staff he's going to bring. Let me read a little bit of this article. Shout out to uh, uh, CBS. I think it's CBS Sports. It says here, with four openings on the Nets coaching staff, um, 100% the Nets are 100% in on pursuing James Borrego, the former head coach of both the Hornets and Magic, as Jock Vaughn's lead assistant. Um, the source also noted that the Nets pursued Borrego a year ago. And the Nets currently have four assistant coaching jobs open following management's decision to part ways with Igor Koskos, Brian Keefe, and Tiago Splitter. So, Coach Vaughn, we figured Coach Vaughn would get a new staff coming into this year because this old staff was probably more Steve they, Nash. They were, they were a bunch of they were a bunch of Steve Nash's guys. Yeah, and then when and then after you know it was like, but honestly, throughout the whole year, what and once we got rid of like Durant and stuff. Um, well, we didn't, we, we had Igor, we thought that he'd be this offensive mastermind and the offense looked the exact same as last year's. Yeah. Like it, it, it was the same. There was nothing really going on. The def the defense was still like, we still, we still had a lot of moments defensively where we were lackluster and, and, and it was, it didn't look like anything really like changed from years to like, you know, years prior to now. Yeah, our offense was just disgustingly bad, like terrible in <laughs> this year. Bro. I mean, when, as soon as I we mean, left the stars, I mean, we, it was we, like we, wow. We went, we we had a playoff series where we couldn't score a hundred points in three out of the four games we played. Oh my god, man! Yeah, it, it was really bad our offense. So, my first thought in my head when that got that update from Woes was like, okay, there are a couple of coaching jobs open right now. Um, we know, and recently we know Mike Bud just got fired. Um. So Toronto and Detroit, there's two op open coaching jobs in Toronto and Detroit. Um, so there's Nate Mill McMillan's on the market. We got Nick Nurse on the market. We got Frank Vogel on the market, James Borrego on the market, and Mike Budd on the market. All right. I'm probably missing some other coaches also, but you, you guys can put just that the, in the just comments. Just name a few. Just yeah, name that's a few. the name of few. <laughs> so starting off with these coaches, I mean, I we need to put – great basketball minds around Jacques Vaughn because we all know Jacques Vaughn has his problems. You know, we don't got to say it. We, you can look at the channel and go through all our content. We're always we've said, we've, we've said enough. <laughs> we've, going said enough. We, we've said enough. We could go all day on what was wrong, what happens with Vaughn. But he, like I said, we're giving him a chance. I want to give him a chance this year. Get your staff together. Get the great basketball minds and then go. This is this is the full year. This is the prove it year for us, Vaughn. I want and you, you know to what? And, and this is this is this will be a year. He'll have a full year. Mm. And he'll be able to get his own staff. I mean, we we're we're completely clearing the staff out. Yeah, almost almost completely. Yeah. So I want to give yeah I want to give Vaughn I'm giving Vaughn a clean slate, and so I just hope I pray the Nets give him great minds around him. So, um, my first candidate, well, James Orego, we all know he's probably gonna, um, be interviewed and hopefully he get well gets the job. Um, you got his stats, bro, because James Orego coached the Hornets in 2021. Great offensive coach, man. He's uh, read the stats for um Borrego when he was coaching for offense. Well, they were they were fourth in points per game, and mm -hmm. they were ninth in offensive rating. So, and their offense and their offense was very good. I mean, obviously, yeah. obviously through the stats, and they were able to they were able to get that team to the play in, yeah. and and then the next year when they fired him, and uh, well, which was this year, yeah. they were one of the worst teams in the league. Yeah. So it, it was a quick drop. Like they made the plan, and I know, yeah, you said they lost Miles Bridges, but he had some impact at the offensive end. And I'll read some of what it says about him. Vaughn was a head coach in Orlando for two plus years before he was let go in 2015. Borrego was his lead assistant and succeeded him on an interim basis after a year as an assistant to Greg Popovich with the Spurs in 2016. So he got Spurs connections, and he was under Vaughn in Orlando. So it's like. 
I think he's a shoe in, bro. I think he's gonna get the job, bro. I think. I mean, I don't see him. And let, I know there's a lot of head coaching jobs out there right now, but I think um, Nick Nurse is gonna be the. I don't. I. I. Mm-hmm. And out of out of everyone, you think I don't he gets think, a head coaching I, job? I don't. I don't think. But I don't think Borrego is the first on like the list of like head coaches that. Yeah, because there's a lot out there. Would want when there's yeah. Nick Nurse right there. Yeah, I think Nick Nurse is gonna take the um, Milwaukee job, and then that leaves Toronto and Detroit. Who takes those jobs? You know, <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah. Does Jerems Borrego jump on that, or does he like? Does Vaughn and Sean Marks and the, the team can convince him to come to our team and be an elite assistant? I mean, it's it's really a tough thing. What we'll, he would be, fam- well, Bar- at least Borrego would be familiar with Jack Vaughn. I mean, yeah. he was like he, he'd be in the same situation he was, yeah. you know, you know, like back in uh, like what 2014, 15, whatever. Yeah. Because Toronto, Toronto's probably a lot of pressure. You go into that situation, it's going to be a lot of pressure on you. Detroit, it's like there's no pressure. I mean, it's a rebuilding. You get the same thing you had in the Hornets. You know, they're, they're, but 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 the the Detroit, Detroit's going after an an assistant coach elsewhere. So, okay, okay, that's fair enough. So yeah, James Borrego definitely. I would love to have James Borrego on the team, and then Frank Vogel. We were talking about this before, so we know the Nets struggle with offense, right? And then we have the defense. Um, Frank Vogel is a really – he's known as a defensive uh, coach. You saw what he did with the Pacers, with that Paul George team, Lance Stevenson team, Roy Hibbert team. They were one of the best defenses we've ever seen. Um, they were killer at defense, man. And then bring up his stats with the Lakers in 2020. Yeah, they he they were they were second in defensive points per game, mm-hmm. and they were first in defensive rating. Okay, so – to have that dynamic, if this is a dream, basically, I know we're just potting here, but this is a dream for us. If we could get Frank Vogel and Borrego on this staff, it would just be wondrous, wondrous. And these are us. possible, ca- and these are, and these are, you know, these are candidates to just fulfill their job. It's not like they're these guys are going to be head coaches. They're going to be mm-hmm. one's going to be in charge of the offense, yeah. one's going to be in charge of the defense. And these are guys that were really good. And these are guys that were head coaches in the league. So it would be it would be amazing if we can get them both as assistants, you know. But for, it's just for a John dream. Vaughn, who it, who is like who is essentially he's he's a new head coach. Yeah, yeah. So I, in my opinion, like, do I think it's gonna happen? I hope, I pray, but it's a. We'll see what happens. We have to wait. We got to wait. You bro. never, you never know who will get hired. And you never know, man. I mean, this. Like I said, if this offense could change, if we just kind of have some type of set play, some type of system. And again, I'm giving Vaughn. I'm giving Vaughn a clean slate. Giving you a clean slate. We can have some type of system, some type of offense. You know, just it would be a lot. We could do wonders, man. And then you know the defense. I'm not even worried about the defense because we got the defensive personnel already. We and we and we've already shown we've already shown the potential and you add you add mm-hmm. you add just a solid defensive coach onto that yeah. sign me up yeah because you add yeah you had a solid defense we have the personnel for a good defensive team but we just need um, more clarity on that end you know we just need more t- I think the team needs more what you call it t- they need to be together more because in the defensive t- defense is kind of like you need to be on one string you need to know where people are if you're going to switch the communications on um, pick and rolls you got to like be together in the summer. The chemistry you, has to be there and you got to have, and you got to have a, a coach that's set in that position. Like yeah, everything, everything, yeah. everything, everything happened so fast. Yeah. And, and, and you see, it was like, everything so happened so fast. We really, we didn't have enough time to get really to have the team have good chemistry. Yeah. And we, and then we were like, we thought we saw it was so bad that we just fired everyone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> fired everyone it's hilarious um yeah so make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe who do you guys want to be the next um assistant coaches out there you know we named a couple of guys that are out there in the market but you know our picks are james Rigo and frank vogel that's the dream that's the dream hopefully the nets see this and they do it um but yeah appreciate you guys make sure you hit that like button follow us on instagram at nets kingdom one all our twitters are scrolling at the bottom check out netskingdom.net we're gonna be dropping some articles more content soon appreciate you guys